morning this is the new content from the complex analysis and the content is conformal mapping mapping or transformations so if fx is a real valued function of a real variable x then this equation y equal to fx establishes a correspondence between points on x-axis and points on y-axis. So by having the values of x and by putting those values over here, we get the values of y and accordingly we draw the curve in the xy plane. Right. But when fz is a complex valued function of a complex variable z, no such convenient graphical representation is available for w equal to f of z right so for that a plane is required to represent each complex variable w and z so for z plane i'm having z as x plus iota y and for w plane i'm having w as u plus iota v and the defining equations are u equal to uxy and v is equal to vxy which means v is a function of x and y u is a function of x and y suppose i'm having the point xy in z plane on the z plane i'm having x axis and y axis and for the w plane i'm having u axis and v axis so for corresponding every point on z plane if I get the unique point, one and only one point in the W plane, say UV, then we say that it is a 1-1 one, one correspondence, right? So corresponding to each point XY in the Z plane, there exists a point UV in the W plane. And these points are also called the images of each other right and this equation one these defining equations these are called transformations right okay let's read the definition the correspondence defined by u equal to uxy and v equal to vxy between the points in the z plane and w plane is called a mapping right and the corresponding set of points in the two planes that are called images and one one correspondence if to each point of z plane there corresponds one and only one point in w plane then we say that this correspondence is one one right and conversely too next is the jacobian of a transformation in general the transformation w equal to f of z that is u is equal to uxy and v is equal to vxy this maps a closed region d this A closed region D in Z plane to the closed region D dash in W plane. This pink colored one. So this F of Z, this maps a closed region D of the Z plane into a closed region D dash of the W plane. And let's say that delta Z to be the area of this D region and delta w be the area of this region right and if u and v are continuously differentiable limit delta z tends to zero delta w over delta z this is equal to curly u v over curly x y so the determinant j is equal to this j is the jacobian of transformation so curly uv over curly xy 
this is equal to yes curly u over curly x differentiating u with respect to x differentiating u with respect to y differentiating v respect to x and differentiating v with respect to y and this is equal to just solve this this is curly u over curly x curly v over curly y minus the product of these two curly u over curly y curly v over curly x so this is called the jacobian of transformation so in particular suppose if fz is analytic function then we can also use the cr equations here what are the cr equations it is curly u over curly x equal to curly v over curly y and curly u over curly y is equal to negative of curly v over curly x so i can use this cr equations over here so that the jacobian is equal to curly u over curly x putting the value of curly v over curly y as curly u over curly x minus curly u over curly y into what is the value for curly v over curly x it is negative of curly u over curly y so this will become positive so this is equal to curly u over curly x whole square plus curly u over curly y whole square and this is nothing but this is can i write like this curly u over curly x plus iota times curly u over curly y mod square when you solve this you will get back this step and this is equal to this further is equal to this is your f dash z so this is mod of f dash z square let's move on to one example consider w equal to z plus 1 minus iota and determine the region d dash of w plane corresponding to the region d in the z plane bounded by x equal to 0 y equal to 0 x equal to 1 and y equal to 2 so these are the equations for the region d we have to determine the region d dash using this transformation w equal to z plus 1 minus iota now since w is z plus 1 minus iota now as w is u plus iota v and z is x plus iota y just put this value over here so i get u plus iota v is equal to x plus iota y and plus 1 minus iota plus 1 minus iota when you solve this you get x plus 1 take iota common you get y minus 1 so that this is u plus iota v from here we get u as x plus 1 and v is y minus 1 so let's plot the points now so for x equal to 0 x equal to 0 means y axis put x equal to 0 over here you get u equal to 1 so here i'm having the points for u and this is the equation u is equal to 1 and then for x equal to 1 for x equal to 1 sorry this is x equal to 1 put the value of x over here as 1 you get u is equal to 2 so here i'm having the equation u is equal to 2 this line right and then for y equal to 0 y equal to 0 means x axis so this is y equal to 0 and putting y equal to 0 over here i get v equal to negative 1 so v is this is positive 1 this is negative 1 so v is negative 1 this line and then for y equal to 2 this is 1 this is 2 this line 
putting 2 over here, I get V is equal to 1. This line. So what are the region I am getting? The D region is this rectangle above X axis. And this is your region D dash. So this is how we get the region D dash in the W plane for the region D in the Z plane. Now, yes, what are the conclusion? For each point in XY plane, I am getting one and only one unique point in W plane. So this correspondence is 1, 1. This is the conclusion, right? So, so first we conclude that the correspondence is 1, 1. And secondly, what about the translation? Alright, please note here, in general, W equal to Z plus alpha accomplishes a translation in the direction of the vector alpha. This is the vector alpha. So here, the vector alpha is 1 minus iota. We have given the vector alpha as 1 minus iota, which means the translation of the rectangle D is in the direction of vector 1 minus iota. So I am writing the translation of rectangle D is in the direction of vector 1 minus iota. Direction of the vector means Direction of the vector means the angle. The angle that is made with the horizontal axis. Now here what is the angle? The formula is theta is equal to tan inverse y over x. Now here I am having 1 minus iota as my alpha. So alpha is 1 minus iota. So this is tan inverse y is negative 1 and x is positive 1. So this is tan inverse negative 1 which is negative pi by 4. So the point 1 minus iota lies over here. This is 1. This is negative 1. So here this is the point 1 minus iota. It is making angle pi by 4 with the horizontal axis. And this line is nothing but y is equal to negative x. Right? And also what is the magnitude for this vector? This is 1 square plus 1 square under the root which is equal to square root of 2. This is the magnitude. So what we can say that every point, each point of D is moved at a distance of square root 2, right? Which is parallel to the line y equal to negative x, right? That is why this region D is moved to D dash. So every point is moved at a distance of root 2 parallel to the line y equal to negative x. So this is how we get the region D dash in W plane, right? Okay. Thank you.